What do you, uh, yeah, what should we add? What do you guys want? Give me some ideas. I'll start this break and field some ideas for new breaks. Next up, more finest. More finest, please. Case 10 teams. Let's see if we can keep this finest. We had some good boxes lately. Let's we'll see. All rise the judge, angels and twins. Billy Jack has Diamondbacks, Pirates, Snowborn, White Sox, Red Raider, Rangers, Roosie, Blue Jays, the Dawn Braves, Doug S, Rockies, A's, and Padres. <laughs> Glow with the Royals, Alexander, Yankees, James G, Phillies, John L, Rays, Quack with his Giants, Logan, Indians, Mikey, Mikey, Marlins, uh, Hedson, that's a new name, Mariners, Ray has the Dodgers, Glass Boogie Mets, Mr. Philbrook got his Red Sox, Freaking Rick Orioles. Mr. Bonnie Smalls Nationals, Stony Astros, Brewer Brewers, imagine that, Sean Cubs, Drisky Reds and Cardinals, and Wiley Coyote Tigers. Okay, how did I get into breaking? Want to hear the story again? Do you want the long, drawn-out, boring version or the quick version? Wait, everything I do is the long, boring, drawn-out version, so that's probably what you're going to get. That's the only version I know how to tell. <laughs> drawn-out. <laughs> I mean, we have a whole case of finest to do, so I've got time. All right, let me see. Where did it start? Let me try to think from the very... So... I'll start with like 2005. Since 2005, I got a job working in the state. It was really boring. And I had a lot of extra time. I started watching baseball again. I kind of didn't really watch baseball that much in my early 20s. I kind of like got tired of it. The Dodgers sucked. <laughs> Austin. Arenado. So I started really watching the Dodgers a lot uh, at work. We're not at work, really, but, you know. The games are at 7, but sometimes I'd watch the day games. and So I really, just, first I just really started getting into baseball. Like, I just started loving baseball. And Ronaldo Lopez. So I was doing that, doing that, whatever. It's 2010, you know, way into it. Still working at the state in 2010. <clears throat> started hating my job. Like, really hating my job. Oh, no, I met my wife in two... Th oh, hold on. Hold, hold everything. Is it halftime already? Yeah. Halftime. Finest finishes autograph. We already got the case hit. It's going to be Lindor again. You know it is. Yep. Obviously. Same cards over and over again. Oh, well, at least it's kind of a good one. Logan. Yeah, I met my wife in 2000. We got married in 2005. Uh, 2005, yeah. So I was settling into the adult married life, and then we had my daughter in 2009. Once I had my daughter, I got to stay home with her for almost Zach Britton short print. I think I stayed home with my daughter for almost three months. I took a bunch of vacation time. I got the paternity leave. Ooh, Chipper Jones autograph. Wow. The Dawn. Finally a Braves hit. That's sweet. It's not even numbered. God, about freaking time. I don't think the Braves have had anything. Hold on, I need to grab some top loaders. A nice Chipper Jones. Okay, so it's it's 2009. Maybe 2010, actually. Early 2010. <clears throat> I had, like, almost three months with my daughter, just me and her. Dad bonding and all that. And I was thinking, like, I really don't want to go back to my job. It's pointless. It's going nowhere. Now, I couldn't get promoted 
Imagine that. I couldn't get promoted. People don't like me. It's weird. Couldn't get... Couldn't move up the ladder there at the state because I was not likable. So when I was home, I was like, what can I do? What else could I possibly do? Bautista Blue. And I was think, trying to think of all these ideas. And couldn't really think of anything, so I ended up having to go back to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hate superhero movies. I'm not likable. I understand. I know this. That's why I had to get out of there. So in 2011, when I was loving the Dodgers, I started kind of figuring out prospect stuff. Like, I had no idea about prospects and all that. And I heard about Bryce Harper. And everyone was saying, like, this guy's going to be amazing, and he's, like, the best thing ever since ever. Chris Sale Purple. So I started kind of following Bryce Harper. And I actually, I think I've told you guys this before, but I uh, I drove down to Dodger Stadium for Bryce Harper's first pro game. I watched that game. I guess that was probably in 2012, though. So early 2012, I was in Walmart or Target. Walmart or Target, I don't know, one or the other. And I saw the Bowman Blasters, 2012 Bowman Blasters. And I was like, huh, oh, $20. I started, I bought like two of them. And just like looking for Harper stuff, basically. Oh, we got an orange. Cindergard, 94 95 orange. So I started opening those blasters and I was like just totally hooked because I didn't understand that there was prospect cards. It was like so exciting getting prospects because I'm like, oh, you could look them up and see like how they're doing and maybe this guy will be a superstar one day. And I just like loved it. And then the moment I got into this business, sort of, or the start of it was when I looked up Bryce Harper autographs from Bowman and saw that they were like $9 million. I was like, oh my God. I thought they were still like, Alex Bray. I thought cards were still like $5 for, you know, like inserts and sets and stuff. I had no idea that there were autographs that sold for hundreds of dollars. Another redemption. Hmm. This is going to be Judge. I smell it. Finest autograph of... Oh, it's Lindor again. Jorge Alfaro. It's the same one we had last time. I should have known. Jorge Alfaro redemption. Yeah, I thought it was Judge. So... So anyway, I saw that and I was like, man, somebody's making money. If Bryce Harper autographs are selling for three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, whatever they were, somebody is making money off of this somehow. And I was like, well, I love baseball. And David Dahl Green to ninety nine. Doug, your Rockies. I love baseball. I'm loving cards. People are making money. There's got to be something I can do. Then I started just, I was just buying Bowman, like, hobby boxes, and just obsessed with Bowman. And I searched on eBay for Dodgers cards. I was just trying to buy, like, some, I don't know what I was trying to buy, Dodgers cards. And I saw a break for Dodgers, and I was like, what the heck is this? And I read the description and everything, and I was like, this is the greatest idea of all time. George Springer to 99 green. I'm like, all I want is Dodger cards. I don't want to buy boxes of whatever products and sell all the hits and try to buy Dodgers cards with them. I just want Dodgers cards. I'd rather just buy the Dodgers and whatever. So I got into the first break. Ooh, Aaron Judge Purple. First break I ever bought was uh, Archives. 2012 Archives Dodgers, I think. Pretty sure. with a breaker who's now defunct. And the first break I was in, I hit a Maury Wills autograph. I was like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I'm never going to, I'll never tell you who the breaker was. But I was watching the breaks, you know, that he was doing, and I was like, this is so annoying. This guy, this... I just was so frustrated with him because he was so slow. He had the weirdest camera angle. 
and he would just talk about himself. Can you imagine a breaker just talking about himself the whole time? That's all he did. It's all about him. I can't, I mean, I would never do that. Never waste two minutes talking about myself. Oh, wait. But anyway, I was just like, this guy sucks. His website sucked. Basically everything about him. He did know baseball, I'll give him that. And he, he had some cool, he had a lot of good breaks. <clears throat> so I was doing that for a while, and then um, then I started, I never thought I could really do it. I started buying uh, like Series 1, Series 2 cases, because I started following um, Brent and Becca on Twitter and stuff and seeing what he was doing. I was like, maybe I'll just buy cases of stuff and do, do what he does and sort them out and sell sets and all that. So I was doing that for a while. It was really fun. And, uh, <laughs> and then I realized like it was hard, you know, a lot of time. And I was at the distributor where I was buying stuff and we were talking about stuff. He's like, oh yeah, you know, people are doing breaks. And I was like, oh yeah, I bought into those. And he's like, you know, you might be able to do it. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do it or whatever. And website, I don't know how to make a website and all that. Oh, Justin Turner. Ray, your Dodgers. I can't, honestly, I can't remember when I just decided to go for it, but I think I had made some money off of some Series 1 or Series 2, like I had a little money, and I hired somebody to make this like really basic website for me. Benintendi Rookie Refractor, Blue Miggy. And the first breaks I ever did were uh, Five Star Baseball on eBay. <sighs> Freaking Tyler Austin, unbelievable amounts of Tyler Austin. Alexander, Tyler Austin, finest first. Every case has a Tyler Austin. You guys are probably, he'll probably be amazing. I don't, there's nothing against Tyler Austin, just the fact that he's in every case. He's probably going to be the greatest player of all time. We'll all look back and say, geez, Tyler Austin was in every case. <laughs> Rusey. And a Piscotti Orange. They said they wanted the long, drawn out version. So I'm trying to draw it out as long as I can. I got five boxes left to find this. I'm running out of material. So anyway, I did the five star and it was amazing. I got like a Buster Posey inscribed World Series MVP out of 12 five star. And I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. Ichiro purple. <clears throat> That's basically it. Then I just, um, as soon as I realized how much money eBay was stealing from me, I was like, I have to get, I have to get off of eBay. And I, um, you know, I made my website and got some people over there and started doing that. And I was working full time this whole time, by the way. And the weirdest time was when I was working full time, trying to do breaks full time. Oh, not full time, like three nights a week. I'd probably do like two or three breaks a night, three days a week. And I was like, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm how much product I'm opening. And then I just kept, you know, all the money I ever made, I just put back into my website and uh, little drugs, a lot of drugs, hard drugs. Danny Duffy, 121. Tyler Austin Refractor. But I guess Heroes is probably when stuff got crazy. That was probably the, the big breakthrough. Yeah, I have a store. I'm in my store right now. You can come visit me. But Heroes was nuts. That got a lot of people, a lot of my all-time best customers that are some still here, I think found me from Heroes and we did that forever. Tyler Austin! <laughs> Freaking Tyler Austin. Uh, 
Uh, I'm in Rockland, California. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ben and Tendi Gold Finest first. Mr. Philbrick. Mr. Philbrick has had some good luck lately when he gets the Red Sox. Getting some good Red Sox for Mr. Philbrick. <laughs> you know, you guys know it's funny. His username is RM Philbrick, and I my brain just said Mr. Philbrick the first time, so I just call him that every time now. <laughs> it's not Mr. Philbrick. <clears throat> Renato Gold Miggy. Yeah, that's basically it. The short version of the story is I saw someone doing breaks and I thought, I think I could probably do that. And, oh, the other thing I didn't mention, at that time there was like four breakers that I could even find on the internet in 2012. Nobody was doing breaks. It was a lot easier to kind of get going. Now there's like 4,000. Rick Porcello Purple. All right, should I start from the top? All right, so in 2005, <laughs> no, yeah. Heroes was crazy. That was a crazy time. Heroes just get, started getting more and more expensive. Stressed me out, that Heroes, but it was also awesome. I mean, you can imagine it would be a little stressful if you were one of the only people breaking a certain thing. and they're Like, oh, this time we're going to make them $1,000 boxes. Wilson Contreras. How many of those do you want? Four box cases that are $1,000 a box. You want 50 cases of that? Uh, got a little tough there. Alex Reyes. Gold Eddie Rosario. Some nice stuff in this one. Some golds. All rise the judge. Yeah, I've been full time. So I quit. So I went to halftime at the state. They let me go to halftime, and I was breaking and working halftime. And then instantly, I was too busy doing that, and I quit. <laughs> I quit in March of 2013. Seth Lugo and a gold Fraser. That's not gold. Green Fraser. Lindor refractor. David Ortiz die cut. We have <laughs> Tops, you did it again. Two Eddie Rosarios. J.R. Smith is on fire tonight. They needed that. Auto refractor. The missing part of the story for you guys who don't know. Hippie, poor hippie's heard this story a thousand times and he lived it. Some of you lived it. I mean, lived it sounds like it was a really big deal or something. It wasn't like it ruined your whole life, but 2014, it got stuff got too crazy and I quit. Will Myers purple to 250. I called it in 2014. Shut everything down. Well, I came back. <laughs> I 
Uh, a long story. Ichiro. Uh, Edwin Diaz, short print card number 119. Yeah, that was one of the reasons. Oh, wow. Red Wave Tanaka. This is what finder should be. More rare, weird stuff. Alexander, bet you weren't expecting that. Although Tanaka's not doing that good right now, but still. Tanaka to 25 Red Wave. I don't even... I don't even know if that card... St I mean, yeah, it did, st it did stick to the thing. I wasn't looking at it. I was looking at the chat. People don't realize, you, you think I'm looking at the cards this whole time while I'm breaking? I'm not. I'm looking at what you guys are writing, and I'm looking at the breaks filling, and I'm looking at the monitor to see what my hands look like. I'm not looking at the cards all the time, which is probably a bad thing. I should be looking at the cards all the time, but I'm not. I'm watching the game. I'm watching LeBron dunk right now. Multitasking. Shipley. Gold Dozier. So Redemption stuck to the back of the card or I slipped it away or whatever and that wasn't that didn't make me quit that was funny and annoying but Luke Weaver Drisky yeah I'm trying to think of other breaks sometimes I'm adding breaks Oh, did I miss four Aaron Judge autos? Oh, well, we'll find them. <clears throat> the funny thing with that whole stealing the redemption thing is I had to email proof that later that night I found it and emailed the guy whose card it was. And, like, all these people were like, Pro provide us the email. I'm like, no. I don't have to do that. Like, I was on court. I was in a... I was on trial by the community... Show us the proof, otherwise we will decide your fate. Uh, Longoria Refractor. I don't need to show anybody anything. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was a lot of stuff. Arcia. Exactly, that's why I told everyone. I was like, just don't break with me. The funny thing is, 99% of the people who are all doing that, they're not in my breaks. They would never buy into my breaks. Kinsler to 150 blue. Stanton to 250. Wait, what? Or where was I on here? I had my own site in 2012. We used to, um... I used to use Ustream, but... The service got worse and worse, and the cost is really expensive, so I finally switched over to YouTube recently. Now, most of the reason I quit was probably my son being born was the number one thing, because he was... It was a real stressful time. My son... My wife... Uh, not to get too personal, but... We almost lost him at like 20, was it 20 weeks? My wife, uh, almost, we almost lost the baby and she had to go on full-time bed rest. Like all day, every day, up until week 30. Uh, I think he was born six weeks early. <clears throat> so there was that going on. And then he was premature, and then he was like, I don't know if he was colic, but as a baby, he was just impossible. Aaron Judge, Refractor Rookie, he would scream every night, all night. He had like stomach stuff from being a preemie, I guess. Glass, no rookie. David Ortiz. It was just tough. My I mean, we had a three-year-old, four. What was my daughter? Three. My daughter was three, and my son was premature, and my wife was doing everything while I was doing my thing. It was really hard. Tyler Naquin. He's everywhere, everybody. Nine hundred Naquins tonight. 
Logan. Could be worse. Nickman's not bad at all. Yeah. Just a lot of problems. And then I had $7,000 of chargebacks, and I had a lot of stuff. Blue Adam Duvall to 150 for the Reds. Drisky. Arietta. Lugo Blue. Yep, seven thousand dollars. Down the drain, lost it all. <clears throat> two people, two idiots who stole credit cards. Santana to two fifty purple. Stolen credit cards on my site. Michael Fulmer finest. Uh, there's a short print, Kyle Hendricks. Nope. No, credit cards. There's no protection on credit cards. That's why you guys make me nervous when you use credit cards sometimes. I have no protection on that. <laughs> I've been through some crap, man. Of course, we all have. I think they do have insurance, probably, yeah. Alright, last box. Contreras Refractor. <laughs> 91 tops. There's a Judge rookie. Fulmer. Benintendi rookie. Yeah, that's on you. If you if you want to do that, that's on you. Benintendi. I couldn't live myself doing that to somebody. Apparently some people can though. If you're that person, then that's you, I guess. You can live with yourself. Wilson Contreras Breakthroughs autograph. We're getting some new weird stuff tonight. Sean. Yeah, it was basically just too many years of working too many hours and avoiding my family and or not avoiding, that's not the right word. Neglecting my family. Cody Reed, Reds. Oh yeah, once Nolan, Nolan is the best kid of all time. Once he turned like two, easiest kid ever. I love Nolan. God, he's the best. I talked with Nolan. You want another story? I talked with my son for 30 minutes last night about bones in his body. And I laughed the entire time. Everything he said was hilarious. It wouldn't be hilarious to you, but... Osuna to 150. This guy's the best. He's so funny. He's always cheerful. Archer. He's the opposite of me, basically. <laughs> Granky to 99. He, he gets all my wife's good personality. He is the greatest kid ever. That trip I took to LA with him for those four days, the best four days of my life. Not even joking. It was the funnest thing ever. He loves everything. We went to the zoo. Goldschmidt to 250. He loves the entire zoo. He was, I mean, he was shy about the football players, but he talked about it all the way home. Just amazing. Last pack of the break. Rizzo. And no short prints. All right, let's see the hit recap. <clears throat> my daughter, she's tough. <laughs> Not my daughter's the opposite of easygoing. My daughter's me basically. All right, Cody Reed, that Wilson Contreras Breakthroughs Auto. 
Duval to 150 blue, Naquin, Luke Weaver. Oh yeah, Tanaka red. I already forgot about that. Red wave Tanaka. That's a rare one. Rosario, another Rosario. At least it was gold. Benintendi gold. This case rolled. Tyler Austin, another Tyler Austin. Justin Turner, David Dahl Green, Alfaro, Lindor was the was the uh, case hit and the chipper. One of the best cases we've had. If